The sclera is the major component of the tough outer layer of the eye. It is fibrous in consistency, white in colour and meets the cornea at the limbus. The sclera accounts for five-sixths of the outer protective layer and the cornea for one-sixth. Brooks' membrane is a thin membrane upon which the retinal pigment epithelium rests. It supports both the overlying retinal pigment epithelium and also the underlying vascular meshwork of the choroid. The retinal pigment epithelium is a layer of cells which the retinal photoreceptors rest upon. The function of these cells is to sustain the retinal photoreceptors and keep them healthy. Photoreceptors, once activated, send signals through a complex web of other cells and connections. These cells have a variety of names such as bipolar cells, amacrine cells and horizontal cells. The final cell type which records the visual stimulus is the ganglion cell. Ganglion cells are the most superficial cells of the retina. The ganglion cell projects its long axons from the eye into the brain. All the axons grouped together exit the eye as the optic nerve. The choroid is sandwiched between the retina and the sclera. It is composed of numerous blood vessels which nourish the back of the eye and the outer aspect of the retina. In addition to blood vessels, it also contains lots of black pigment producing cells. The ciliary body, aris and choroid, form the very vascular middle layer of the eye. The ciliary body forms a muscle ring within the globe. The front portion of the ciliary body has a rough surface covered with ciliary processes and fibres called zonules. These zonules run from the ciliary body and attach to the crystalline lens. The ciliary processes secrete fluid called aqueous humour. The aqueous humour creates internal pressure which maintains the shape of the eye. The iris sits in front of the lens and forms the coloured portion of the eye. It determines whether a person has blue or brown eyes. It contains two muscles, one which dilates the pupil during the dark and one which constricts the pupil in bright sunlight. The clear crystalline lens is positioned behind the iris and in front of the vitreous humour. When light enters the eye, it is focused through the cornea onto the macular region of the retina. The lens is able to change shape to allow focusing on near or distant objects. The retinal blood vessels enter and leave the eye through the optic nerve. They are specialised blood vessels similar to blood vessels in the brain. They supply nutrients to the superficial aspects of the retina. The blood vessels are carefully distributed around rather than through the central macula so that they do not interfere with light reaching the photoreceptors.